Hey, I'm Mitch Polonsky. I'm the high side current sensor product marketer. I'm one of them. And I'm going to introduce you to our PAC 1934 USB Type A power meter. Now, this device works right out of the box, really neat. It's going to be good for prototyping, figuring out how much power is being used by the USB power port uh, on a Type A port. See, it's nicely constructed, kind of got a nice industrial type look to it, very solid. Uh, and I'm going to plug it in and you'll see that it just powers up and starts working. So it's got a display with some small font, but you can raster to a larger font. So what you're going to see is your current and your voltage as well as uh, power reading. It actually even has inside of it an accumulated power log, so you can use that power log for different files for when you're prototyping. So let's take a look and see how it works. I've got some toys here on the desk with which we can measure the power. Okay, first, got a nice little uh, PC fan or USB fan here. Um, what you'll see is that this little fan is burning 200 milliamps. Of course, it's around five volts because it's a USB port. Okay, next. Let's take a look at a USB light. It says only about 110 amps, milliamps. All right, moving on. Cell phone, right? Because cell phones are going to use more power. Let's uh, plug in my cell phone. Uh, as expected, uh, cell phone will, can charge over an amp. This one's saying 1.3 amps. So that's what we would expect from a, a cell phone. All right, so these things have existed out there before, but uh, this device is different because it's a, a higher precision op amp on which our architecture's base. So some people might say, oh, I've seen these power meters before. Um, they're kind of neat, but how is ours different? And so to show you how ours is different, I'm going to show you something that's kind of off the shelf and what it would do. So this is an off the shelf power meter. I'm going to put it on a different port. And we're going to take something that's very low power, our USB stick, our memory stick. And so if you could take a look there, it actually says the memory stick is using no power whatsoever. But that's actually not true. and We'll find that out in a second. But I've got another off the shelf. We're going to plug that in. OK, that one's actually got kind of a big font. Um, that's nice. But again, says there's no power being consumed at all. But uh, that's actually not true, and we'll find that out with our PAC 1934 USB-A power meter. Plug it in, and you'll find out that actually we do see that there is some power draw. It's about 30 milliamps, right? So where these other off the shelves don't really give you any visibility on to precision uh, current draw, ours will. And that's what's nice about our device. You can use it in prototyping, understanding all the system power draws, no matter how small, out to a third decimal place. You would also notice on the, the previous um, tests I did, those were only two decimal place monitors. I've got one more thing that I can show you. We've got a HD camera and we're going to find out how much power it uses. Looks like it uses over 200 milliamps right here. 250 is about right milliamps. And uh, another nice thing as you can see on the back here you've got a block diagram and it shows you the PAC 1934 it shows you that there's a PIC24 in it, and it shows you that there's an MCP1754 uh, DC to DC converter in it. So you can make your own. In fact, the schematics are available as well if you wanted to make your own. And that is the PAC1934 USB 
type A power meter. Thanks.